This video is sponsored by Value Testers for a complete line of specialty work related tools, biggest selection and best pricing. When you need to upgrade your tools, think Value Testers. Create a free login for best pricing. Link in description below. Morning guys, it's August 11, 2018, uh, Saturday. Got a call from a customer, um, water heaters leaking. So we're going over there now and see what we see what the story is. I know this guy, good customer of mine, so. I usually try not to work on the weekends, but a good customer. I gotta go out. Seven, so let it off here. We'll drain it out. It's going upstairs and out. It's a little noisy, but. Saw to that. It's not good. Half inch. Should be an easy change out for me. I usually drain it into a pit if I can, but there's no pit here, so we'll pump it out. I'm going to make a couple of cuts here. You'll be able to hear when the water heat is empty, you'll start making a squeal on noise. Oh, the water heat is still, you know, it's all leaking. Leaking down. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> I always try to clean it before I cut it. It's always good practice. So you don't have to clean it later. Oh, I don't have to use the water upstairs, we'll see. Alright, mm, that's good.
and clean. Outside and maybe we'll take that drain out and drain the rest out, but it'll be good enough for now. She's a Hummer. Something like that, you have to leave those. Those are check valves, you gotta leave those in. I usually put pipe dope and Teflon on these because, um, you know, once you once you screw that thing in there, I mean, if it leaks, you're kind of kind of in big trouble. So, it's always good to use both. That's what I think on uh, threaded connections. If you could use Teflon and pipe dope, it's always. It's never a bad idea, put it that way, on water connections. So here you've got a better chance to seal it, right? Well, this tank might be a little bit taller, I'm not sure. It might be an inch or so taller. But it's always good to make sure that's nice and tight. So we don't want no, we don't want no leakage, right? Obviously, she's using the water upstairs. I told her not to. But typical female, you know, they don't listen to you. Tell them, tell them to do something, and it's like they got a mind of their own. Typical female, right? <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm getting trouble from all the ladies. I got the cold water off here, so if they run the coal in a hot in the sink, obviously it's gonna go from the cold into the hot and dump down here, right? That's what happens. Make sure it's tight. I don't want no leaks. <sighs> clockwise. I wanna go clockwise right like that. Clockwise. Right. You can take a rag and, and uh, do it with a rag too if you want, and that pushes its stuff in. That's a little tech tip, mama. That's a little tech tip, mama. Put a little fritz on it, a little dope. A little fritz. Tank tea. 
tank tea so we can put the vacuum brake on the top. That's it. There we go. I got a new vacuum breaker for it somewhere. I still got it. In. I did pick one up at the Sobiles. I always change the vacuum breaker. It looks like a new new style T there, so I'll leave that. I'm gonna walk out to the truck anyway to get some stuff, so let's see what's going on with that. Might have to go and get a nipple for the uh, for the gas yet, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure on that. Obviously, this is going to be a shorter nipple, right? Look at that. Sure, sure. We'll have to go up back out to the truck for something anyway, so we'll see what we got for a nipple here. Probably two inch nipple. That's the relief valve. I just wanted to solder that. The other guy never did. Yeah, it makes a better job, don't you think? I think so. Look at these two couplings here to solder up. So. Ain't no Taj Mahal here, mama. Ain't no Taj Mahal. covering it goes over there so we'll cover the coupling so not too worried about that not too worried about that I'm just gonna do the gas pipe now but we should be able to turn the water onto it now no, it can't come out anymore because of that door has to close. See the door? So it has to go there. I'm gonna fill it and check for leaks. Alright guys, I put the relief valve in. It's filling, just gonna do the gas pipe now and when, the, when I know that I don't have any leaks, I'll put the covering back on this stuff. Get some covering, get some covering over there on the boiler. I'm gonna make sure this is tight. We don't want it. We don't want a leaker. We wanna go 
crazy tight because it's not the greatest setup there. I mean, it's plastic, plastic valve type of thing. Well, it's got to be tight though, can't have no leaks. On this here, I just use just pipe loop. I don't use no Teflon. That's all I use is just pipe loop on this. Not a lot of pressure here. Half a pound. So it holds it. I got no problem leaving the old gas cock as long as it's still good. I'm good with it. so it's not so bad. Okay. Put the drip back in there. It's a little bit on the long side, but that's fine. I got no issues. It should be at least a three and a half or four inch, you know. Well, it should be able to rock and roll here now. Tighten this up on this back side if you had to. That's how you tighten up a gas clock. See it? There's two nuts there, but you can tighten it. I tightened it so it's harder to turn now. That's what we want right there. Let me check it with some soap. Mr. Pilot, hold it with my screwdriver for a bit. See the nuts on the end there? You can tighten them if you want. Alright, I'm tight. I got no leaks here. And I just basically all I did was I just cut the. Uh, I just made one cut and put couplings on there. That's all I did. So. stuff back on there and make it look good. It's full of air. I'm gonna need to go upstairs and bleed it. We'll have her do it. I heard it kick on. We'll watch when that when that light turns green, starts flashing green, we're ready to rock and roll. Pilot there. Once that thermal couple heats up, see it blink green. See it? We're ready to go here. As you put it right there. See what I do? Pick up my mess and get out of here. Got all the cardboard cut up in pieces. Hello! Hello, Shirley! Hello! Yeah. 
You want to run the hot water in the tub and, and flush it? Once you get all the air out and all the rust, shut it off. But go around and, and make sure you get all the water running to every faucet. Okay, I'll do that. Do the hot through the tub first. Okay.